In this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate 95% confidence intervals for an R-squared value based on asymptotic normal distribution theory. So this approach assumes the data are relatively normally distributed. The example I'm going to use is the study where earnings is the dependent variable and education and IQ are the predictive variables. So you need to get the multiple R value. So go into Analyze, Regression, Linear put earnings in the dependent variable box and education and IQ in the independence box and then click OK. And then you need to get the model R value right here. 0.361 is the model R value and that piece of information needs to be inputted into the syntax file that I pointed out in the chapter and I provided a link for. So the next step is to open up that syntax file after you download it and make sure you put in the appropriate information in this section of the syntax file. So the first part is what is the sample size? Well in this study the sample size was equal to 250. So I'm going to put 250 right here. Now I need to enter the number of predictors. Number of predictors equals 2. It was education and intelligence. Next I need to input the model multiple R. So it's not the R squared value, it's going to calculate that for you. So the multiple R was 0.361. So I put 0.361 here. And confidence level has to be 0 0.90. As I mentioned in the chapter, to get 95% confidence intervals for a value that is positive in nature, like an R squared value, you need to specify 90% confidence rather than 95%. So keep this 0 0.90, and that's all you need. From there, run all. And SPSS produces this output file and specifies what I inputted, N250, two predictors, R squared equals 0 0.1303, which is the same thing I obtained over here, 0 0.130, so it's calculated it properly. Now here's a confidence level 90%, which in this context produces 95% confidence intervals, lower and upper, equal to 0 0.0676 and 0.1968. So rounded, the R squared value has 95% lower bounds of 0 0.07 and 0 0.20 around the point estimate of 0 0.130. So that's how you can get 95% confidence intervals for a multiple R squared value in SPSS using syntax on the basis of asymptotic normal distribution theory. Now there's also an approach to do this with bootstrapping that I'm going to show in a separate video.